Picking up a paintbrush, swathing the bristles in vivid colors, and smearing it over a white canvas can be therapeutic. The arts are very powerful, like symbol and image can tell you things about yourself you didn't even know. And then afterwards, I'm going to get you to do what Peter did, which is paint. Professional the art the therapist body. Liz McKnight and Jackie Deer facilitate a variety of six-week workshops on Gabriola Island that engage participants to dabble in the creative process, whether it is art or drama or writing, to help them deal with grief, chronic pain, or dealing with a serious illness. First session, we spend a considerable amount of time, more than half, listening to people's stories, because I think that's so important. So that's the first part. And the second part is, is helping them to express themselves. Here you are before me, a life of many joys, some warmth, sadness, strengths, slipping away without much noise. So little to say, so much to do, so little time. I don't quite feel through. The Healing Power of Art program is not one of the usual types operated by the Gabriola Arts Council. It was funded in part through a generous bequest from Ms. Kitty Heller, who often visited Gabriola Island and was a patron of the arts. What she recognized and what we have tried to uh, honor through this program is, uh, as the name is, uh, indicates, the healing power of art, the way that uh, the creative pro process and working in a creative way can help uh, build community well-being, can help people move through difficult times and processes. I had been ill for about a year and quite unexpectedly we discovered I had a tumor in my left lung. I've had a lot of chemo over the last year or so and uh, all the trials and tribulations that go with it. It, it is a terminal diagnosis. Sometimes people can work on a story without even being able to say it in words like this. We facilitate a process and the point in facilitating the process is twofold. To help them express things that they wouldn't normally know how to express. And to express them in ways they're not used to. You don't learn to be an artist. I kept thinking, well, at the next class, I'm going to learn to be an artist. Well, of course that doesn't happen. What happens is you, you hopefully de dig a little deeper into yourself and reach out to others who are going through the same thing. Meeting and sharing experiences with others who are going through or who have survived similar experiences can help us feel less vulnerable and less alone. Well, one of the things that I was asked to do was to lay on the floor and somebody drew a, a kind of a silhouette of my body and then to fill in areas of the body that I thought were important in the context of healing with cancer. So I drew a, a, a lot of intestinal objects on my picture and I was able to talk about them to other people. The value to me was in hearing everyone else's story and understanding and knowing what they were going through and really understanding it and really knowing. And, they, and, I, and I had the feeling they knew what I was going through and how I was feeling. I don't know why or how, but it's a magical process that I've participated in and, and with great joy and pleasure. We've lost the ability to play, most of us. So that's a, very, that's a very important part of the healing, you can get them to play. Art therapy, whatever the form, is globally recognized for adding value to individuals and community wellness. On Gabriola Island, I'm Annette Lucas.